the ice cream man is in front of my house. My name is Celia and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. You don't have to like this video if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to my channel. So today's video is going to be on a product this company actually sent me. It's called Franson and they sent me their two silicone sponges and then one power puff sponge, which I'm guessing is this one. So we're gonna test it out using my Makeup Forever HD foundation that was actually sent to me for free as well by Influencer. So basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be doing the battle of the sponges. Is the Beauty Blender actually better or is this silicone sponge better than this? All right, so this is kind of a first impression. I haven't opened these, as you can see. I haven't used them, so I'm just gonna give you guys my honest opinions. Yes, I know this is dirty. I didn't clean it for the video, but yeah. So I pulled it open, and I see three of them. This is a leaf shape. This is the powder puff. And then this is the teardrop, so I'm gonna use the teardrop for this video. These are actually on Amazon for like $13 for all three of these, which I think is a pretty good deal. So first things first is this thing feels weird as hell. Like, look at it. You see how it like... I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender because I already know how that applies to half of my face. And then I'll use the Fanton um, sponge on the other half of my face. I have my handy dandy Ikea mirror right here. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put it on my lap and we'll get to it. my face is done with um, the Beauty Blender. I already finished it as you can see. Um, it's not as red but it's not like full coverage. It's more of a like medium coverage. So now we're gonna move on to this side and then see how the silicone sponge matches up with this. Honestly, I'm not sure what to expect. I've heard a lot of things about these sponges but you know. All right, on to the next side of the face. So I just finished putting the makeup on um, with the silicone sponge and the beauty blender. So the beauty blender is this side and then the silicone sponge is this side. Huh. Results. Let's see. I honestly feel like this side of my face is a little bit more red like on the cheeks and this side really isn't as red. But besides the redness on the cheeks, I really think they're very similar to each other, especially like how you apply it. I definitely could have used less on this side with the silicone sponge. It can't really absorb the makeup, so it, the makeup has to go somewhere. So I found myself dabbing more when I was using the silicone sponge just because like the makeup kept, kept sliding everywhere, whereas like, the Beauty Blender, it absorbs the makeup so you're not using like too much of it. But yeah, there was definitely a lot of makeup in this area. I definitely had to work it in my skin more. For cleanliness, um, I feel like this is going to be a lot more messy because once again, the makeup has to go somewhere. It's not going to be absorbed into the sponge. So if you put it on like your dresser or something, the makeup's definitely going to get on it. So you're definitely going to want to have to just rinse this off every time you use it. Some people might not like doing it, but it is like the cleanliness thing to do the cleaner it's the cleaner thing to do Concealer. I definitely put the same amount of concealer as I usually do 
However, you can obviously tell that there was way too much concealer on this side. Even though I used the same amount, it's because, once again, these do not absorb the makeup, so you have to use less. Um, so I definitely think these are a money saver just from the first time I'm using it. I can definitely use a lot less product than I usually do. Meanwhile, on the Beauty Blender side, I kind of have to do a lot just for it to like make a difference. I had to use the extra concealer from this eye on this eye just to like even it out so it kind of looked the same. <sighs> Guys, money saver right here. And you can keep using these for a while. Like I don't, uh, you're not gonna mess this up. There's no way you can mess this up. Whereas a beauty blender, you have to switch out every once in a while. So I would definitely recommend buying this from Amazon. I'll definitely put the link to their um, company site on Amazon down below so you guys can try it out. All right guys, so that is pretty much the end of the video. Um, I definitely enjoyed making this video and thank you to Fansin for sending me these products and letting me make this video for you guys. Again, they aren't paying me to make this video, they just sent me something in return for the video. But if you guys liked what you see, once again, just give this video a thumbs up and then make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. We have created a new setup for YouTube, so we'll definitely be back on the YouTube game. I bought a ring light, so you guys are definitely gonna get more videos from me now because, you know, I could shoot when it's like nighttime. Yeah, so be sure to subscribe and like this video. If you guys end up buying this product or have this product or use silicone sponges, can you guys give me some tips on like how to like better spread out the makeup and stuff? Um, yeah, that would be really helpful. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye!